Hi, for this video we're going to solve a system of equations graphi um, by graphing and we're going to use the TI Inspire to help us do that. In order to plug it in we do have to get y solved for. So our first step is to get y by itself in both of the equations. So my first equation I would start by moving the 5x to the other side. So we would be left with negative 3y equals negative 5x minus 12. And if it's easier for you, you can always work down. Um, just do whatever is easiest for you. We do have to get y completely by itself. So I would have to divide everything by negative 3. And when I do that, I end up with y equals a negative divided by a negative is a positive. And then we would have neg um, positive 5 thirds x, and then the negative 12 divided by negative 3 also is positive 4. So that's our first equation. Our second equation, we would have to just simply get y by itself. This one's nice and easy, um, because when I move x to the other side, we have y equals negative x minus 4, and we can see that y is already by itself. So I'm going to take and plug both of these equations into the TI Inspire graphing calculator. And then we're going to find the intersection point because that is the solution. So let me grab my calculator. Um, for this, I'm starting from the home screen. I'm going to add a graph to it. So I'm going to just select this graph one down here. And for f1 of x, that's our first equation. They always have it in function notation instead of y equals. Um, so I would plug in my first equation, which is 5 thirds. And then I would just simply use the x down here, plus 2. So I into the first one, I just am sorry, I'm looking at the wrong, I looked at the wrong part of my paper. That's why I checked. So this should be plus 4. And then I'm just going to down arrow to go to the next one. And so then we would put in the next one, we would put our second equation, the negative x minus 4. So we would put in negative x minus 4 and hit enter. And so we can see our two lines on um, here. We can see that they intersect at this point. So to find this exact point, what we can do is we can go to menu, analyze graph, which is option 6. Sorry, it accidentally hit the other one. And then we're going to choose the intersection point. For this one, it's going to ask us for a lower bound. Lower bound just means to the left, so it just means to the left of the intersection point. The upper bound means to the right of the intersection point, and then we can see that it intersects at the point negative 3, negative 1. So that would be our solution to this. Um, so the solution would be negative 3, comma, negative 1, or you could write it as x equals negative 3, y equals negative 1. Either of those are acceptable, but since it's a graph, it makes more sense just to have it this way. Because of the fact that we did have to solve, I would go ahead and just plug it both back into both equations, and I would plug it into the original one, not the solved one, just in case you made a mistake. So if we plug it into the first one, we would replace x with negative 3, and we would replace y with negative 1, and we want to ask ourselves, does this equal negative 12? So this first part gives me negative 15, the second part gives me positive 3, and if I take negative 15 plus 3, I do get negative 12. So we know that it works in this equation. We want to make sure that it works in the second equation as well. Um, so I would just simply replace my x with negative 3, my y with negative 1, and we see that negative 3 plus negative 1 is negative 4, so it does work in both of them. So we can see that the solution makes sense. As always, thanks for watching.